Hello, this is Micah Cowan, and I am demonstrating the Apple II VI mode project that I've been working on. You may have seen um, an early video of it, um, but a lot of features and such have been added, and so I thought I should make a new one. Uh, this was a Hackfest project that I did for Kansas Fest of 2022, and it adds uh, VI style normal mode key bindings uh, to your prompts in BASIC and in the monitor and anything that uses the standard prompt facilities. Uh, so let me go ahead and run the disk. And away we go. Uh, and of course, you can just start typing and everything is normal as you type. It's everything that you expect from typing at a prompt. Uh, and I've just typed a few words out to demonstrate some of the features. Um, and yeah, so if I type escape or tab right here, uh, tab is preferred if you have an unenhanced Apple IIe, especially if you're using 80 column firmware, uh, because it doesn't play especially nice with the 80 column firmware uh, on an unenhanced Apple IIe if you use the escape key. So the tab key is available as an alternative. Press either escape or tab, uh, excuse me, I typed a character I didn't mean to, uh, and you you will notice that the prompt has now changed to indicate that we're in normal mode, and the cursor is moving around, so I'm moving it around by word. If I press B, then it backs up by a word, and if I press W, it goes forward a word, and also you can type, say, 2W, and it'll skip ahead by two words, or 2B. There's also the E command, which goes forward by words, but it stops at the ends of words rather than the beginning of the next word. Um, and you go forward spaces, and you can insert in the middle, so if you type I anywhere in the prompt, then you can continue to add words in the middle. Um, and if I type D3W, then it will erase those three words forward from my cursor. Um, zero goes to the beginning of a line, dollar goes to the end, and H and L go back and forward by one character. Um, you can see that the, if I type D in normal mode, um, the prompt character changes once again. Uh, it changes from the, the minus sign in normal mode to the pound sign or hash sign uh, to indicate that it's capturing a movement and when you've moved where you want to, uh, so if I type W, it deletes the word, uh, but the, the D key just follows whatever motion you type into it, uh, which again can be preceded by a count. Uh, so delete three words is D3W. And um, you get what you need. And again, if you type the I key, you can start typing again, and everything works as expected. And as you might expect, um, this also works in BASIC. So if I run, you can see it gave me a prompt. Uh, and I can still move around just fine and insert text. And likewise for, uh, if I go to the monitor, then you can even use it there. Like so. Um, and so, yes, uh, let's see. Oh, one other thing to mention. Uh, if you hit Control Z, it will give you the version uh, of the Apple II VI mode program. So right now it's at 0 0.4 and um, control X as with a normal prompt will abandon the current prompt. You can also type some stuff and then type, uh, you can go into normal mode and, and press C twice and it'll erase the current line and keep uh, editing. And uh, let's see, you can, if I type, you know, six control P, oop, that was not a P. Uh, control P and then I could type return of course to reboot from disk uh, but you'll notice that the uh, maybe you can't see it too clearly on the screen but 
uh, you'll notice that the control P is in fact visible on the screen and you can um, also insert arbitrary. So if I type REEM and then hit return, well, you know, that's that completes the line. But if I type uh, REEM control V return and then control V return, control V return, then I can actually embed carriage returns into my line and you can see uh, you can see how this looks in a program listing. So it draws attention to the remark and, and makes it very noticeable. Uh, and you can of course do this in print statements as well. So control V return, control V return, control V return. And there you go. Uh, and I think that is just about everything that I wanted to cover uh, about Apple II VI mode. Um, you can try it out yourself in an in-browser emulator in the link below. Uh, and you can also download the latest release at a link given below. Thanks very much for your time.